Hey, this challenge is to build out some tabs. So three tabs aligned horizontally. When you click on the tab, the proper content for that tab sh is displayed. And there is some styling that happens to the active tab. All right, let's go. Hey, let's get started. This is tabs. Okay, three tabs horizontally. Um, and then when you click on the tab, it should show the contents for that tab. All right, the first thing I want to do is let's render out, let's do tabs. Oh no, that's donkey brains already. It's a quick donkey brains. I want to do, let's return a div and inside of here, tabs.map and we're gonna have a tab and we're going to return a, another div. This is going to be a tab. And inside of here, we're going to put a little bold um, tab. I want that to be in curly braces. Cool, we have tabs being kind of rendered out. Uh, this sh really should be its own component called a tab.js. And we will do const tab equals, I don't know what it's gonna take as props yet, but I do know we're gonna return basically this. And so I do know that I need the tab there as a prop. So instead of returning this stuff, we can return tab, I need to import tab from dot slash tab and let's close that off auto complete you're killing me key we will have that as uh, let's say the index that's fairly safe for this component and we have problems problems let's format this tab we are also not passing down the tab, so let's do that. We got problems. Element type is invalid. Expected string. Where's this problem coming from? Someone already sees it. Return, oh, okay. Export default tab. There we go. So now we have the tab in its own component makes it a little bit nicer to work with. Um, we do want this to be wrapped in another div. And I'll move that into there. Let's format it. And let's put a class name on this div. Um, tabs container. And then over here, we will do dot tabs container and display flex that should already line it up better and let's put like a gap of 10 pixels cool and in tab let's put a class onto here class name tab so in styles we can do dot tab border bottom of one pixel solid black. All right, looks like we have some tabs working there. Let's put a little bit of padding on the bottom of five pixels. Nice, I think that looks good for tabs so far. Um, let's handle some of the logic. So const tab set tab equals use state and I'm going to use numbers to indicate which tab I'm on I need to import use state from react let's do some formatting and so when we click on one of these tabs um, what we want to happen is that we update the state number to the really the index of that tab, so zero, one, two. And then with that state number, we will 
determine what we're going to render down here as our panel for that tab. Um, firstly, we need this on click handler uh, to be passed down to here. Let's create a function called const um, handle tab change. It's going to take in tab, which is going to be just a number. And we're going to set tab to tab, right? So let's play, let's pass down this on click function down to our tabs. And it's going to be, let's bake it in with handle, handle tab change. And I'm actually going to close this so I have a little bit more space. And we're going to throw in index. So this on click prop is baked in with the index. So in tab, all I have to do is on this div, click on click, and it's going to be handle. What did we call this prop? It's just called on click. That's fine. And we got to make sure that we're taking that prop down. Cool. To test that, let's console.log the tab and tab one, tab two, tab zero. That's working. So we are in control of what tab we are on. We now want to render out some panels. Let's put the panels in a div and in here panels.map panel um, let's put it let's return a div and hidden on this div is going to be equal to tab uh, let's do index out over here too so tab is equal to index question mark false else true so only if the current tab we're on is equal to the index when we're mapping over panels here only then do are we actually showing that panel and in here we can render out panel and so we see that we have panel one, panel two, panel three. That's working pretty darn good. This could be in its own uh, component. Let's do that. So it's going to be called a panel.js and const panel is going to be equal to, and it's going to take in paddle, panel, and we're going to return just that stuff we have here, this div. So panel, it's gonna be returning this div. Let's format a 404. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> oh, by golly, if there ever was a donkey brains, that's donkey brains. So I just came back into it and I think Things are kind of happy. I don't want to click that format button again. Export default panel. Why? What are you so unhappy about? I'm going to try to click that format button. 404. You guys need to be telling me about these types of bugs in my, in my own editor. Panel.js. Panel return div with a panel in it. What is my problem? Panel.js import panel from dot slash panel. We're cool with that. Return. Oh, tab and index aren't being passed down. Let's do that. 
tab and index. And so here we're actually just returning a panel. It's going to autocomplete and it's going to drive me crazy. And we're going to pass down a key. That's not being passed down, but it's just necessary. And we need tab and index. So tab is going to be equal to tab. Index is going to be equal to index. Cool. Now let's see if we have nothing rendering. Tab is equal to index, question mark, false, else, true. And then we're just rendering out panel. We're not passing down panel. Wow. Okay. There's a 404 happening in my page somewhere, but this looks good. We're still there. We're still making this happen. And I'm going to leave that in just so you guys can see my troubles my daily troubles to the tabs. Um, I want to add some, well, firstly to this, let's put an inline style of just padding 10 pixels. That puts a, a little bit below, further below the tabs, which just looks nicer. So panel one, panel two, panel three. On the tab, I want to add a cursor of pointer. Makes me feel like I can click these, which is nice. Now to handle the styling of the active tab. If it is the active tab, I want it to be blue tab we are passing down let's pass down a prop i think this is how i want to do it i want to pass down a prop called active and active is equal to tab oh we're running into some some uh semantic issues because tab is what I'm rendering over here, but it's also the name of the state. Uh, what I would like to do is actually call this cur tab and set cur tab. And so we're going to change everything to cur tab and this will be cur tab tab. We don't need to change that, but now for active, if cur tab is equal to index. So now we have this active prop being passed down to tab and in tab, I can make use of that active prop. So on this div style border bottom, active question mark then we want one pixel solid blue else one pixel solid black right so now we're getting the proper uh, coloring let's make the active two pixels so that way you can really see it and then we basically want this same styling let me format that same styling on this bold element. Let me style that, except it's going to be color. Blue or black. And now we have a tab that is showing that it is the active tab. Click on tab two, click on tab three, click on tab one. And let's clear our console. Let's compare it to the instructions. I think we've done a pretty good job. We built three clickable tabs and clicking on the tabs shows the proper content. We had some problems along the way, but we worked through them like software engineers, right? All right.
Thank you very much. I hope the video was helpful. And I'll see you next time. Yo, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm in New Haven, Connecticut. Skate or die.